Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today we're going to talk about six tickers and we're going to have a special guest named Doob. He's in our room and he's really into the pot sector, the medical marijuana sector. And I think he know, I know he knows his stuff. And I'm, we're going to talk about Tilray, Cron, C-U-R-L-F, T-R-S-S-F, G-T-B-I-F, P-L-N-N-F, not in that order, but he has a specific order we're going to go through. Hello, Doobie. Hey, how's it going, Jim? Thanks right. for having me. So what we're going to talk about, you guys, today is the American pot stocks. I just want to bring attention to these things because when the SAFE Act and the MORE Act pass, these are the ones that are going to benefit the best out of all of them. Uh, banks are going to look at these. They're going to be more comfortable within investing with these i believe and they do have a lot of good cash to where they're not expanding all through the country so they'll have enough money to expand in the future so i'm gonna get right the trsf and jim will bring that up on the screen and then we'll check out the levels that i have going on here you sure got it so you got that up jim yep okay great well, you guys, you can see my pivot level there at 1509. And then my first resistance is up here at 1555. Uh, these do not trade in pre-market. So you do have to wait to the open. So if you're seeing big shrekking moves on purely our uh, CGC and Tilray in the morning, you know, you definitely want to keep an eye on these at the open. So you can see my three resistant levels right there from... 1509 to 1583. So those I would look at in volume. They are low volume movers, but they get some decent moves. Uh, to get to the high of Friday, you're going to have to definitely see some good volume come in. And as you can see, it gets its morning pops and then it starts reversing back down a little bit. So I'll be keeping an eye on that. They also have earnings on Tuesday on the 23rd. So keep an eye on that, you guys. So we're going to move to the next one, and that will be Cure Leaf. Got it. Go ahead. All right. All right. Thank you, Jim. Now, you guys here, this one, I like Cure Leaf. I mean, Cure Leaf's a good company. They have a good product and everything. And that's the one thing I want to talk about too. And I'll do that in the summary when we're all finished is the products of all these companies. So Cureleaf here, uh, I would watch come Monday because they this one does move with the market. You can see it has a lot of movement compared to if you look at, at a TRSSF are some of the other American pot stocks and stuff. So this one I'd keep an eye on. And if you see some great volume come in, you like your entry, there's some levels for you guys to look at. And these charts are just up for this week, you guys. You could either use it as a daily and play it as a daily uh stock move or you can try to use it as a weekly and then i'll come back the following week and then i put new charts in as we go along so there's a cure leaf yeah i like that pivot point area right there you have a 1687 78 that, that is yeah. truly a five-day pivot point and we're above that so if we can right read, right if we can trust we test that double top at 1787 that'd be pretty yeah, it would be nice and stuff. Okay. I do hope purely for a swing going into this week uh, with Cron and TRSSF yeah. uh, going into earnings. So the next one we're going to pull up is my baby, as I've always talked to people, is Planet 13. Yep, it's uh, up. I love this company, you guys, for the fact that the way they're doing their business, I think I said this last time where me and Jim did a video together. They're going to set the presidents of presidents how everything goes for dispensary wise in the big cities. 
you know, you won't see these in the small towns, of course, because these are superstores. And what you get to do is you go check out the museums, you get to check out how they're making the stuff and growing the stuff. So they're really setting the trend and they're setting their first expansion into California right now as we speak. So uh, Vegas is still generating money for them. They have great cash on hand. Um, and then, like I said, I really like them. Here's some nice levels. As you see, I do not have no support levels because my support levels are down in the $6 and $5 range. Uh, I drew them up on a daily just to let you guys know my first support on that is 632 and next support is 584. If we see them to get down that low, great buying opportunity, you guys, for a long term hold. I've been holding this one for a while myself, so I uh, don't pay no divs, but I just love its long term outcome. So that's planet 13, you guys. So we're going to move on to uh, another one that's been getting some good news about it, and that's Green Thumb, G-T-B-I-F. She's up. Okay, I believe Green Thumb, these guys, these guys just got like $100 million. Let me uh, double check that real fast. I believe that was the news on Friday. I've seen that right. Yep. They raised a hundred million dollars in an IPO. So, you know, they're building up capital and they're not a bad company company. They are based in America. All these ones that I'm reading off with the uh, F on the end, you guys are American companies that can't list on the NASDAQ yet because of course of our laws. And that's something else we'll have to talk about here shortly at the end and let's see today's date what's our date today jim 21st okay so we're supposedly past earnings on them and i believe their earnings was good if i remember correctly nope nope they just missed by five cents which was not bad but they beat on their revenue and uh they have 167.49% year on year uh, earnings beat. So they did really good this year for Green Thumb. And they're uh, probably one of the top three, top five quality companies here in the U.S. growing and stuff. So, all right, that's Green Thumb. You guys can see all the resistance levels Jim's got up there and support levels that I've put in. This one's another slow, slow mover on the volume. So if you like it, do your due diligence for down the road. If you're going to hold it long term, everybody always do your due diligence on all these stocks. Please, please do your due diligence. I can't say that enough. And I'm sure Jim agrees with, with me 100 percent. Yep. OK, our next one is Cron. Cron it is. All right. Cron has earnings on Fridays, everybody. As you see, see it's pulled back. Uh, what's that? Mm, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday. And Tuesday, it started pulling back from those highs at 13.50. We're down around 12.12. 12. 12.25, I'm sorry. Uh, Cron's money is not bad at all. You know? They do have, they says it's supposed to report on the 26th. And I'm going to go to its summary real fast, you guys. I want to want to look at its cash. Me and Jim were talking about this one. And I just wanted to double check this was the one we were talking about. Cron has $1.3 billion in cash with a total debt of only $9.8 million. This is a really overlooked company, I believe, for the future down the road. Uh, I really like Cron. I've been playing it in and out for a couple years now. 
since it's been on the market. Uh, Jim's been playing it. He likes it a lot. And you can sit here and day trade it. You can swing trade it, you guys. You can play it for two weeks. Find a bottom if you like. Some people could be in a bottom. I mean, some people could have caught this at $4 and still been holding it for all I know, you know, which is awesome. They could be adding on and, you know, a little stress-free trade, basically. So if you look at its daily, daily's just curling up nicely since October. So it's still sitting at a consolidation range here on its daily, so it's still looking good. And it's reporting on Friday, like I said, and I do hold this one going into earnings. Or if I see a shrekking move and it wants to break those 1350 highs and run a little higher, who knows? I might take a little bit off on profits and, and wait to the earnings come out. It, as, you know, go ahead, Joe. As you can see on your chart, Friday we had an ascending triangle with it pretty nice little pole right there on front of it so i think uh any kind of news this coming week you know that maybe have something in the bill in the uh stimulus bill or any kind of talk will really give this the catalyst to go ahead and break out of that of that pattern next week a little bit at least up here to there to your 1274 maybe 1310 area yeah yeah no i agree you know to get up to that high you know they're gonna have to have really killing earnings and a good uh, future outcome, yep. you know, and they really need to talk about that, I believe. But, you know, we're, like I said, we're still waiting on our government to get these safe and more acts passed. And uh, once those go, you're going to see a lot of these American pot stocks and the ones that are really financially structured you know, CGC, Tilray, APHA, they're all going to be okay when the bill passes. But these American stocks are really going to benefit a lot better, everybody, in my opinion. So, you know, keep an eye on them. Let's not take focus off because all these Canadian stocks are getting the eyes and the volume on them. Let's just not forget about them, basically, is all I'm trying to tell everybody this week and stuff, especially going into this year. If the Democrats and the government do something and give us the more act and safe act this pass gets passed, oh man, it's going to be great. Yep. You know, we're going to have jobs for people that can't get jobs, you know, that deserve them that probably know more about the market than some of the people that are working in the market today and stuff, you know, and that's just my opinion personally. So, I got one more, Jim. Yep. Let's go over Tilray, huh? Let's do it. She's up there to look at. This here's right. a nice bottom play, I think, too, set up for a pennant flag. Nippers. Yeah. Yeah, because we know this one gets a lot of volume, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you guys, I set my levels here. Uh, watch for the volumes. I mean, I've been trying to set these things almost every day for the last week and Jim would tell you, man, they've just been getting crushed, you know? So this pullback that we had come on Thursday, I reset those levels for Friday and boy, they just got med all day long. So, you know, watch for the volume, you know, everything always dictates on volume and, and the news for these pot stocks right now and stuff. So I think uh, with, We lost you there. Next week, you guys. Yeah. I think we just keep looking. Let's go ahead. What was that? What was that, Jim? Oh, we lost you just for a second. Go ahead. Oh, oh, okay. So I was just saying, you know, as we're coming in through this week, you know, we got some good charts set up. Just keep watching for the volume. And, uh, man, I hope everybody can make some money off of these. And, like I said, we, they've been getting crushed. And, I think we still have some continuation. I think Vegas was even talking about that, and I got to agree with her. The one thing I do want to say about Tilray, I do not believe it belongs at $70. But this is my opinion, you guys. These levels that we're at right now, they're perfect for Tilray. They're great plays. 
Uh, we got that merger coming up between Tilray and APHA that's supposed to still be finalized. Everybody's waiting on those words for that. You know, to me, when they get there, we're looking around $30, $35 range. So we could see that high of that we hit. I think in pre-market, what was that? Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday or after hours Wednesday. I believe that's was, right, Jim, on that 15-minute chart? Yep. 36.69. So, <clears throat> you know, watch these ranges around here. There's always some good plays. If you like it long term, like I said, always do your homework. Make sure you're doing your due diligence. You're not going to get burnt on any news, getting a bad entry. Um, Tilray is supposed to be the one that's be benefiting more from the merger deal. APHA is the one that's buying them. And everybody, I think I'm done. Just keep an eye, like I said, on everything. Let's keep focus. And I hope everybody enjoys what we uh, brought to you today. And Jim, I want to thank you in Vegas for always having me on. And yes, sir. Me be part of the team of I Love Stocks. Yep. And uh, this is a good, especially for you beginners that are always wanting a good watch list. This would be a good starters list for you. And you know, title title it United States pot watch list or medical marijuana watch list, but it's a good starter one, and and keep watching them. Look at them every day. They're going to pull back, and you're going to get used to their patterns, and you'll be able to trade the dips on them. You know, we could tell that the pullback on Tilray that happened on Thursday was overdone, and look what happened. She rebounded up almost fifty percent. Well, at least a good twenty thirty percent from that bottom. So that's just that's a three dollars uh, scalp, or at least to the pivot point on that five-day chart. So keep that in mind. Watch the patterns of these stocks when they break out real nice. Don't shy away of taking that profit and catching in on the pullback on the next day. Or if you think they're going to run like you know he said, this ain't going to run to seventy. I believe him. I think we're in a good little spot right here. For because we've watched this stock down at seven bucks bounce all the way up to where we are today, and that's a pretty good gain. So it needs to consolidate into a channel, like you said. I think these pullbacks are a gift if you know the market conditions, and that's it. We do appreciate having you around. Yeah, and, thank you, Jim. Yeah, I, yeah. Let me uh, say one more thing on Tilray's move to seventy dollars. You guys just just remember that was a Wall Street bets thing, and these guys are are doing this on purpose and they're taking their money up top and as you can see it pulled back on everybody so i hope nobody really got caught up on top of uh wall street bets as a little fanatic move on tilray which was nice i mean there were you know there was good plays on it and stuff but we are down to the levels where we need to be and great plays like jim was saying yep okay well Close it off for that. Always remember, well, pull up the Rod right Love website. Hit that little Twitter link there and subscribe to that channel. We'd sure appreciate that. We appreciate Doobie getting on here and talking about the medical marijuana stocks. And I think that'll be it with I Love Stocks. We'll see you on the next view. Please subscribe. Hit that like button. Ring that bell and for future updates. And have a great day. 